bruising with Gaslow. Melee build. I typically go big game hunter with Gaslow uh, because I get, get real star for scrap. That's why I have that big heart there. Um, I, I don't ever really go rocket boots. But for this one, I wanted to try full melee. So I went one man wrecking crew, which um, when I do basic attack, uh, when I cast a basic ability, the next basic attack within six seconds deals 60% more damage and it stores two charges. So you can do some nice burst. Um, I'm looking at the team and I see that there's only a couple melee guys out, but I see that Imperius is on here. So I want to see how well I do against that annoying guy. We went in the middle. We're doing what we can. Um, and I want to see, I'm, I'm being a lot more um, careful with, with my abilities. So I'm trying to time them so I can start meleeing someone shortly after. They go in to get me, but you can't catch me. And I do a little bit of a heal with my laser and we get the kill on Kyrazim. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, now, again, I find myself Scrap Star for this. That's why I typically I have that big heart by Big Game Hunter. Because when you choose that, dealing damage with basic attacks to heroes, mercs, or monsters reduces the cooldown of Reduce, Reuse, Recycle by 1.5 seconds. And it increases the maximum scrap by 2. So basically, you can use your abilities a lot more. I'm testing this other one out, and after last night's game, I, I still think I'd probably go Big Game Hunter. But I would lose a lot of burst. So here comes Imperius. He's trying to mess with me, and he's a nasty guy. He got the spear off, but boom, I get a tiny heal there. I'm dropping my items and mealing him, but he gets scared between my turrets hitting him and my, my homies behind me. So I back him up a bit, and I'm, I'm glad. This is this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to test how I do. Get a little heal right there again. He, he impales me, but I drop another one, and we almost kill him right there. So that was a, a solid engagement. I still have a decent amount of health, and I didn't even have full health when we started. I want to get my scrap by all means, and he did a random charge there and missed. Um, so again, I'm playing a little more cautiously or, or conservatively with my abilities. I want to use them when I know I'm going to melee someone right after. Now, I do want to preface this by saying uh, I this is the first time I went full melee in a long time. There I am. I dropped that. I'm running around him. I'm letting the turret do some work. Uh, and he's gonna get me, but out of nowhere, a new barat comes in and saves the day, and we get bang the gank. And just like that, we're level level four. How about that? All right. So for this one, I almost always pick hyper focus coils. Uh, heroes hit by death laser and explodium charge take an additional two percent of their max health and damage. And Gazlo is healed for 150 percent of the amount, which is it's huge for a great uh, quick heal, as you saw. Especially now that laser goes off pretty quickly these days. Uh, the the rocket socket is not a bad choice either. Every time you drop a, a turret, Gazzo gets a 200 point shield for two and a half seconds. Um, definitely great in a pinch. You know, I, I know the blast skill, easy peasy dimensional ripper doesn't get chosen often because the other two are great. I mean, it, it's a great save me in a pinch option, but with the hyper focus coil, you can get heals at will on a short cooldown. And with a rocket socket, you can get a shield um, on a very short cooldown. So that's why those two are more chosen more. I like my heals though from the laser and bombs. All right, so he comes in, he impales me. It's looking bad for me. I'm running back. Genji comes and saves me. Ooh, I'm, oh, I get a little heal because, oh no, that um, May is so annoying with her freeze. They're gonna get me, they're gonna get me, but my homies will avenge me, right, right? Yes, sir. All right, one for one, whatever. Thanks, buddies. May is so frustrating with her uh, huge AoE freeze and knockback. <sighs> now, I truly miss how Gazlo used to be. I used to play in melee and um, just take camps left and right. I used to solo boss before level 10. That was amazing. I don't know if, if it was broken or people just didn't choose it enough. I hate the changes. Um, he used to be my main. So whatever i just missed the melee time so that's why i'm going with this melee build we decided to skip the first objective on this map because it's not that big of a deal usually and i'm just going to keep soaking and just like that we're level seven people typically pick goblin fusion which generates three scrap for each hero hit by death laser which probably would have helped me out since i was so scrap starved but i went with the least chosen master blaster this uh death laser and the explosion slows uh, and it heroes by 35 percent for three seconds the rocket turret basic attacks extend it by half a second each. Uh, I just love anything that could provide slows, anything that could make it so that I could catch up to them or run away from them better. Uh, I'm a fan of, so that's why I went that. Here I am soaking, not worrying too much about the objective yet, putting my lovely turrets down, and I'm getting impaled once again. But here it is, let's see how I do. Oh, I'm about to get ganked. It's all right. 
Can I get away? I still have a decent amount of health, but they got so much slows. Imperius runs away as he should. <laughs> and I decided to stick around a little bit too long, but here would come my boys once again to save the day. I get the stun off. He gets a stun off. Do I? Oh, she gets her shield or her ice block, but she's still gonna not die because she can get away fairly easily. What a jerk. That's all right. So now we decide to defend. They got the objective. We're going to fight it back. Again, the level one, uh, I mean, the first objective on this isn't that big a deal. It's strong, but but not, not enough to really wreck you, especially if you get a good XP um, pull on this map. This guy knocks me back several times with his hand. I don't like talking to the hand. Oh, and do we get a gank on? Yes, we do. I got the, oh, no, Genji got the kill on Kel'Thas, which is lovely. So I'm in there just mealing people up, cutting them up, having a good time at it. Healing some health here and there. Oh, and he knocks you back again. Fun. We got someone in top lane. Was that Chromie pushing nonstop in top lane? Uh, that's she, she was a, a bugger. Oh, no, that's not Chromie. Chromie's in the thing. Um, Imperius in the bottom lane soaking. So they countered as well. But we're still going to have a nice level lead at the end of this. We counter push them here. They may have soaked some lanes, but they didn't do as much damage as they could have. And we're going to counter them and do more damage. Take out a tower. Oh, are we gonna, oh no. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. We're running. They're going to get me again. No, are they? No, you're not going to get me again, buddy. Get out of here. Gazzle the Bruiser. And level 10. So this one, I am going melee. So I will pick Robo Goblin. Activate. They become unstoppable for one and a half seconds. The passive. Basic attack steal 90 bonus damage over five seconds. And stacks up to three times. That's 270 damage potentially over five seconds. Most people pick Grav O Bomb 3000, and I definitely see why. I mean, you can get some crazy wombo combos with that huge explosion, but again, I miss the traditional melee build. It's still nowhere near what I would like for it to have been um, and where it used to be, but we're having a good time. I'm going one to one with Imperius and a couple other guys. I'm staying alive. Staying alive. And I'm pushing down here. No one decides to mess with me, so I'm like, you know what? Let me pick up this here scrap, break some towers, and it looks like they're coming down to get me now. Are they? Are they? Yeah, I, they don't want this. All right, so I decide to chill and take it easy for just a little bit. Refresh, take a breather, and start cutting people up again. Kalfast comes in and tries to let me up. He's really annoying this game with his, his STD fire that just spreads like a prick. But you know what? It's all right. He still got scared away by my lovely towers. Ooh. Oh, he sends a bomb. But you know what? I'm Bruiser Gaz. You can't hurt me. <clears throat> I'll just drink a little bit of water, come back, and have a good time. He leaves because he's scared of my turret. It's like someone else was creeping on me. So I decided to hide a little bit and get right back in it. Cut him up. Cut him up good. We got a little bit of a disconnecting issue there, but it's been remedied. Looks like they're starting to catch up on the level. Not to worry. We take out Chromie up top. Well done, well done. And I'm like, let me push this a little bit more. Imperius comes to fight. It's not good fighting by this big building, especially when you get impaled. But thankfully, it's not hitting me yet. Yeah, I'm like, get out of here. Phew! Get a little bit of a heal. Uh, I could have used my R to get away from him and become a stop too, but I didn't have to. So I'm just like, whatever. Go clear those mobs. I'm going to go against the treadmill like a dummy. Pick up some of these blue balls and run away from May because she's annoying. Drop that and get a little bit of a heal right there. She doesn't do much damage, which is great, but my goodness, her slows are frustrating. Got Genji hitting her back, making her run away. Karazim comes and I'm like, let me get a heal, but they're still gonna kill me. Oh, the, the burn, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. They came and got me. I got, got, but it's all right. It's okay. We'll, we'll be all right. So this time being dead has given me a lot of time to contemplate my level 13 ability. Um, positive reinforcement. I was so tempted to use that. Um, primary turret attacks against heroes increase Gazzler's attack speed by 40% for three seconds. I know it's the least used, but I was going full melee. But even then, I, j I couldn't pick it. I went with superior schematics. Rocket turrets attack up to two additional targets. Ooh, the fireball just took out Lily. Darn it. Um, superior schematics, rocket turret attacks up to two additional targets for 60% more damage and have a 30% increased range. Now, that's just too good to, to not pick that one. 
So I'm back. They got this little push up top here. We're going to clear it like a bunch of bosses. Chromie, you're annoying. May, you're annoying. Oh, she, she got that off though, the little knockback. Uh, but I'm Gazzle the Bruiser. You can't just take me out like that. You're gonna need more than just a little bit of ice to take me out. So we're fighting them. <sighs> they got a solid lead right now, a full level lead. My gosh, did we really die that much? I know I contributed to that. Oh, they stopped me from healing, but I still get it off. We got Kerrigan coming from behind, and let's just let's just kill him. How about that? We take out May, and we take out Chromie. And Kerrigan's like, you know what? Not today. Not today, guys. So we got some nice XP. We're just down by one level now, and we're like, let's fight for this ob, this obj. And they rightfully run away. So we're doing our thing, and I'm like, let me let me clear this lane a little bit more. Karazim's still scared. We got the, the little beetles. I eat that because I'm like, whatever. Imperius comes. He's, he's really not um, doing much this game, at least versus me, which is cool. We got this little push here with the beetles and the turrets and all the good stuff. I get impaled like usual, but I still get my stun. Lily gets the ultimate off, slows him down, and we're like, let's just kill this guy. Boom, I use my R and we cut him up quickly. That was a, a good example of how the, the um, melee build can really do some work against uh, against bruiser guys. So like, alright, let's back up here. We got the kill on Imperius, but we're a little low. Chrome's gonna time warp that uh, our tank back, but he's uh, he's an anti-caster guy. It's no big deal. He just burns and goes right back where he wants to go. Come on now. So here's the fight. Oh, we already got it. So uh, I'm a little low. I decided to get in along with, um, with our tank. We're in to win it. I didn't realize that that big robot can get CC. That's that's crazy, ridiculous, if you ask me. So we're doing a little push here. Karazim saves his life by doing that, oh, and he gets away because I'm not quick enough to shoot him. Um, our guys are clearing the mid. We we probably should have done more work here, but you know what? At least they didn't get it. We clear these mobs. We do some work. We hurt their feelings, but they kill our Lily, so my feelings are hurt more. We got this next level 16 talent, but we're fighting and we get out. I drop my stun, I heal, and then, oh, Genji comes for the kill. Just, they weren't expecting that. This freaking May freeze thing. I'm hanging out in a freaking wall of ice. And now for level 16, the popular choice is Arc Reactor. Reduces the cooldown of Explodium Charge by two seconds, yada, yada, yada. Little extra rockets, it's fun. But I'm going melee, so I go with Overclock. Hitting enemy heroes grants 15% move, bonus movement speed for two seconds. Hitting enemy heroes with basic attacks causes them to take an additional two and a half percent of their max damage, uh, max health and damage. Boom! So we just destroy Chromie like that. Again, it's it's the melee build. I, I want to hit people and I like that after I hit them, I can stick with them and chase them down. Um, so that's why I went with that. And you know, the additional 2.5% uh, of their maximum health is nice against people like May and Imperius and other, other fellow bruisers. All right, so we get the health thing. They don't want to mess with us. We now uh, are on par with the level, just like that. We caught up, and uh, we're like, you know what? I don't like the way this building's looking. Me, so I'm gonna cut it up with my buzzsaw hands. Oh, come on, come get some Imperius. Let's see if we, I can engage him and melt him. He's hiding behind the building as he should. Come get some. Come get some. I break that wall. She misses her eyes. It's like deja vu, the same exact spot. Come on, my little turret. They got their little pushers behind them, though. But behind them, we got Carradine going for the kill on Karazim. Um, oh, he, tried, he gets impaled. Oh, look at that. We just melt him. He got the impale off on a new Barak. Didn't get me, so I start cutting him. A new jumps right back in, stuns him, and kill him. Just like that. And we're going to go and take this building out right in front of their faces, even though they kill our Kerrigan. And I had to run away for a little bit. No, don't kill him, too. Don't kill him. He's going to kill him. He got him. He got him. But, oh, Genji finishes off May, And, of course, I get burned. Like, jeez. Don't play with fire, my man. Don't play with fire. So, you know, what wasn't the smartest engagement. But you live and learn. Oh, Lily. What'd you do, Lily? Genji finishes him off. Nice, nice. With style. All right, so we're, you know, four of us hanging out, just, just chilling, counting down the, the numbers. Chromie being a jerk is just really pushing hard. You know, 
I, I rarely see Chromies push hard, um, but I appreciate it when I do. I, I'm a pusher. I'm a pusher, so I, I like when others do it. This melee build is fun at the right time, and again, I don't use it often. Uh, whenever I play Gazelle these days, I, I typically go with the other build. Alright, so level 20, uh, the obvious choice for the melee build is the Mecha Lord. Basic attacks increase Gazelle's armor by 10 for 10 seconds, up to a maximum of 30. Basic attacks deal 50% more damage to stunned or slow targets. Um, so if you're going melee, it just, it just makes sense. You get more armor, you take less damage, you do more damage to stun or slow targets. And as you've seen this fight, um, working with a noob, uh, we, we really stun and melt people pretty bloody quickly. Karaz oh, he can't get away. You can't get away. Look at that. We're all in there. We just take Karazine now. He's like, well, what just happened? We dodged May's wall again. That is like forever coming up. Genji jumps over it because he can. And they got 20s now too. We're gonna fight for this. And Chromie's like, I'm, I want to walk into every one of Chromie's blasts because that's that's what I do. We got our turrets on these little moving conveyor belts. They're so annoying. These conveyor belts. Like, what? Come on, just get rid of them. So we definitely want to win this one. It's stronger. Chromie can't time her thing well because we just jump in, engage. I'm like, let me stop hiding. Let me run against this track like a dummy, and and join the fight eventually. Goodness, took me forever to join that. That's my fault. I'm sorry, guys. My, my buddies did well. And we're just going to cut this guy up again. Again. Come on, man. And so now we have a... We're going to get this. I mean, May, May's not going to fight us all against it. So I'm pushing. Getting them blue globes right in front of her bloody face. We get the sun, but she got her AoE, so we can't necessarily get her. Oh, no. Oh, stop hitting the noob. Oh no, stop hitting me. Dude, how often can she do that ice wall? That's, that's, that's a bit ridiculous. Genji, with the kill. Nice. Very nice. I like when you, you pick them off one at a time like that. Karazim's back, but he can't do much. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll hard right about here. What say we take this area down? Karazim, what are you doing? He just misses my stun, because he is very... Very slippery. There, guys, are slowly starting to come back. Karomi's back. Kel, that's about to be back. But we got a strong, big robot. Iron giant, I should say. Causing havoc here. I think we get a little crazy. We're like, you know what? Let, let's try to fight fight behind enemy lines and break some more of this stuff. We get the, the well, which is nice. Um, but Kel, that's spreading his fire STD, which is so annoying. Oh, my gosh. Where, where did my health go? I don't know. I don't know. So we're like, oh, right, oh, Chromie, I'll oh, bring him, come back and kill me. Nope, I use my unstoppable, and I don't get away. How about that? Very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kerosene just keeps blinking. Oh, Genji with the deflect. Yeah, we overstayed our welcome. What can we do? Well, we did some work. Oh, but that laser destroyed Kerosene. Oh, almost got, oh, Genji's going to come. Yeah, Genji finishes off Chromie. So all in all, we won that match. Don't ever forget that. And I'm just contemplating where I went wrong. So we got a close match going on here, both level 21. We're down to our last three forts. We cleared the bottom lane, but their middle lane still has two forts. Uh, we use this time to get some of these turrets. Clear them up while two of their guys are still down, and I'm just watching from the sidelines. <sighs> they get their top pushers, but we're about to do the same. And I think, I think I'd like to get this little healing thing. I never pick this stuff up because I always forget to use it. No, not a very good thing when they can make a breaker team fight. Pierce is down low, so I'm not too concerned about anyone. Actually, I wish they would try to fight us up here. I'm back now. I don't think they do, though. So we get this pretty easily. We all have to be wary of this guy's STD spreading. Imperius, out of nowhere, gets the impale. I just come in and don't do anything. You know, this, this melee build is not nearly as fun as it used to be. I'll just, I'll just keep saying it. Not as fun as it used to be. I know it was definitely... Oh, oh gosh. I, I guess the ice wall saved me there. But we, uh, we get caught in a very tight position right here, especially for all the AoE. 
Can we come out on top? I, I just don't know. A noob goes down. Oh, we take out Imperius. No big deal there. But oh, oh, just so much slow and CC. And that was a, a rough engagement. Oh, Kerrigan makes it better, though. She takes out two of them. Oh, but then Kalfas. Oh, no, the turret and Kalfas take her out. And May, you know, whatever. She, she brought us back there at the end because that would have been terrible if they got four of us to their one. But we still got the lanes, so they got to clear the lanes while we're um, while we're crying right now. Yeah, the previous melee build was definitely more of a, when they had the specialists. You could solo the, the camps by yourself really easily. Um, but even at level 20, that's when you started doing some real damage against heroes melee-wise. I just, I don't feel it now. You used to have the speed boost, now you got unstoppable. Ugh, just pour one out for the glory days of Gazlo, IMO, to be honest. May comes in. Being a nuisance, but Genji's back now. He'll scare her away. Control point unlocks in 15 seconds, and now you really want to fire for each one of those because they could. Oh gosh, why are you so annoying, man? They could really do some work, and we're all back at the same time because we all got blown up at the same time. Sheesh. They didn't manage to get much done at that point. You know, they, they cleared their lanes except for the bottom one. Bottom one. Um, but here we are with the objective. This is where we're gonna fight. Get my turret in there, knock them off their high horses. They got the vision. Our boys are back. We're going into oh May, what are, what are you doing, May, with your silly ice block? And I get my laser. Yeah, laser. All right, boom, cool. She gets her ice block again. But Lily with the kill. Oh, a noob, stay alive, a noob. We keep Imperius off him, and the noob's like, you know what? I want to come back in and do some work. Uh, but he didn't. He caught me in the air, and then he died. But, you know, I'll give Gazel that. He can take a lot of hits. He's a lot tougher, and he has a lot of more self-sustain than he used to have. A noob just can't get enough. He runs back in. His Beatles are healing him real well. And Lili. Got to give credit to Lili. We're at 72%. Imperius is down again, and May's down, which is huge, because now their fragile people don't have a protector. Karazin, get out of here. Stop tickling me. I'm, I'm ticklish. Come on now. Oh, no, don't die. Ah, Lili. Lili got a little crazy and died. Uh, it's all right, but we're going to kill this annoying oh no oh no Kerrigan oh, she got Kalthas with annoying bombs ah, we got this big iron giant though it does a lot more damage now Kalthas doesn't want to mess with us and there's that guy so we're going to tear down their middle lane the lane that was least pushed this thing does some serious work I love that laser. It's like, where is it? Oh, boom, there it is. Pew! And they're back. Not a big deal. We'll just keep beating them up now. This thing is quite strong. Laser, laser? No. Wow, some good damage there. Genji's looking for a nice time to jump in. We're backing up because they're all back now, except for Chromie. But the whole time they're chasing, I'm shooting my little turret gun. So he didn't, we didn't get frozen there like we did last time. All right, so they knocked us out. I shoot my laser in the absolute wrong direction. Um, so I'm, I'm crying in shame right now. And I'm like, you know what? Get over it. Got to get back in the fight. We kill Ka uh, Karazine. And I'm staying away from everyone because I got the fire on me. Genji with the kills. Genji with the kills. And then we take out this Joker again. So great turnaround right there. We engage more. Chromie just gets away, but she doesn't get to use her wombo there because she had to run. She had to run away. And we're back. We're all still alive. We took out three of them so we can do some work here. We're like, you know what? All these mercenaries are up. Let's start clearing them up so we can be ready for the final fight. Beetle a new build is fun. Maybe, uh, Maybe I'll have to try that out sometime. I hear it doesn't work so well in like the ranked games. Whatever. It's still fun. You got all those beetles healing you and burning people up and doing work. They're all dead. Or three of them are dead. Oh, they, they already stole this one. So, you got that one, Chrome. We were very cognizant of not, um, not being crowded this time, even though there's only two of them up. That really hurt us last fight. So, we're staying spread out, hoping they jump in. They, they're not doing much work. I killed these things while tanking and soaking up some damage. And then, uh, and then I think we decided, to, you know, back up. We killed their thing. Oh no! You're gonna get it, Chromie. Pew! Look at that. I thought she saw Kerrigan there with her little, 
her little ability, but she didn't. Good job, Kerrigan. Spikes from below. We're going to take this thing out, hoping they come to fight us here, but they don't. They're scared, as they should be. We melt that little healing boss guy. Next objective is up top. No one wants the healing thing because we all forget to use it. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. I decided to clear up this middle lane a little bit more. Gotta be careful because only Chromie has gone to on the bottom lane. So here we are, 25 minutes into the match. It's one of our longer matches for sure. I mean, I got my level 20 a while ago, so now this is just commentary. Doing some work. My, my melee damage is do, do decent, you know? Yes, do, do some damage. I, I can go square to square or squared up against any, any bruiser, I'd say. And do pretty well um, but it's unfortunate they got a lot of solid range casters and they, they can bully me a bit the CC is, is pretty mean sometimes but here we go I sense a solid fight I miss her wall we got her slow in I come in and just throw my big AOE my laser and cut up who I can I don't even care about that ice wall because I'm like let me cut right through it oh my goodness but he sends the bomb at me I back up a little bit and heal and then we, and then we clean him up Clean them up noise. We decide to back up and let's just do this objective. We got our guys pushing. We got their tanks down. They can't do much without them. All of our guys are up, so we're just getting ready for this. Chromie's like, let me let me not mess with them. And she's gonna go away and try to push somewhere else. So we decide to push as well. Um, I'm itching for a fight, thinking that we could get Kalthas. But there's, oh, Chromie took out the middle base, but luckily our dudes were onto her. And they're gonna gank her. And they're gonna wreck her before I can even look at her. Well done. Was it worth it? No. She sh had no idea we were coming. <coughs> now she's gone for a while, and we're gonna get the objective soon. That's a good thing. We keep these lanes pushed. They're still trying to counter push the bottom. I must say, we did a, did a nice job with these lanes here. We decided to finish off this turret. Oh, and then I think we're gonna take some more here too. Yeah, you can't save yourself with your seven-sided thing. All right, and now we got the the Iron Giant coming on down. They're still trying to mess with us, but it's it's futile. I want to cut her up, but and that's why you that extra move um, percent of movement helps. Oh, look, she just gets melted. Um, it helps me stick on people, except for her, because she can do that ridiculous move. So we come in, and we're about to finish this off. I really wish I, I could have meleeed more people. Oh, yeah, I almost died here, I think. Boom! That fire destroys my face. But I come back in it to win it with a heal and a dodge. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these guys are really putting up work, but the core is about to go down. Alright, so that, that's how I tried the melee thing. I, I really, like I said, don't like it too much. Uh, but I guess I did decent work for dying five times. Good amount of hero damage and siege damage. But I will always miss the glory days. Well done, Anubarak with the MVP.